Okay, Howard Looter, we're safe here. You can relax. All right, let me get things started. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clary's plot war for a book on power and influence I'm working on. Who are you working for? She may be one of the most unofficial person, the most unofficially powerful person in the city since she took over. As head of her family, she, she's been expanding new drugs and high profile visitors to the bite and more. You could say that. Never talked to her directly though, as, and you have. Was she like up close? Yeah, my impression too. <laughs> she, w she wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read up people and their intentions. Yes, it is. Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been seen there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. Apes? I think you weren't invited. What worth is getting with some powerful regulars? Not sure. No such thing. A simple drink with these kind of folks. Monkey birthday. Look potent. Super addictive. She serves the clean variant at the bite. Oh, okay. And the shittier version turning up on the street. Notice that Howard never opens his mouth. Every other character opens their mouth to talk. Basically a herb infused with some chemical impact. It loosens up in the tongue, which for some like blood worth could s serve a purpose. Myself. All right. Uh, for my funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's like an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. Do we have former powers and investigating who really holds the most influence in the city? All right. So she's perhaps in a bit of hot water here. Here, swimming a little too deep soon, I'm pretty sure. Let's go with this one. Maybe, but I feel I could really make a difference with this book. No one has really done this work before. Did you find me in the park? Well, I left the bite just after you got kicked out. Oh, saw you running around. I want what madness you were were up to. Hot under color. Anyway, I staked out the back alley just in case. Twenty minutes later, bingo, a puking raccoon. Could have been usual. And I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Glad you found me. <laughs> you stuck me. Not cool. <laughs> That's up to you. Am I here? What do you want from me? Uh, 
First, I want you to trust me, like I trusted, <coughs> trusted you right now. What did you find at the pipe? Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with someone? Believe me anyway. I'm, I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. Start from the beginning. On our way here, you told me you were a PI. Well, we talked in our stupor, huh? Looking for someone. I take photos. Hmm, why? What's this deal? Uh, talking ill about the dead, but I don't see what else I can say. I see it is apparent, but not disappointed, but not surprised. Did you find him? Yes, his corpse. What? Where? By the basement, they were cutting my target up into pieces. What the fuck? And there were other bodies hanging from the ceiling. Well, oh, there was one body, though. I saw boxes of flesh, it wasn't just one body. Are you fucking joking? Let me get this straight. Bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then pulling them into boxes? Yes. I wouldn't... People passed her, but this? Why? The fuck? Never mind. Okay, wow, that was a real eventful night for you. There, where are you going now? I'm gonna die probably. <laughs> I gotta get my shit together. Exactly, what's your plan? What? Then what's our plan? Yes, <laughs> well, Pearl, I have a proposition. I want to invite you to an adventure. Oh, how fun! Work with me. Let's find the truth about Blockworth. Just clearly no more dangerous than I thought. Exactly how am I going to stay away from her? Exactly why I'm staying away from her. I never had a partner before, but my gut's saying I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't, and you owe me one. Just imagine doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork, also, I'll pay you. That would be nice. My smarts, your stubbornness, dream team. <laughs> Let's try, I guess. Excellent. Now, tea time. Mind brewing some. I'm the guest, you do. <laughs> I'm the man. <laughs> alright, alright. No, same kind of map that. We have in our home. Interesting. And the Kellon. Green minty tea. Yeah, why not? Hmm. Prefer. Don't know how to feel.
feel about her. Coming right up. Boxes. You just moved in? Hmm. And it wasn't. A similar one in my office. Ah, so we. Ah, damn it. Uh, where do I pick up this kettle? Where are we? Ducks, not the most picture part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. Green tea, thank you. Don't burn your tongue way ahead of you. Ow! <laughs> okay. So, the case, we need to figure out what happened to that flesh. Did you see the Starlings Cider delivery truck in the bite alley? I don't remember it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I should probably stop being a smart ass all the time, so yeah. Yeah, stretch. What if you told me why? I've seen it a few times while researching the bite. It's a good fake, but you can tell up close. I love their pear... I love the pear cider, don't judge me. And the logo just didn't look... Look right. Up close, the colors were off too. So where does it deliver to after the bite? Well, lucky there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Yes, there is. Long story short, I know it delivers somewhere in Gastown. That's where he worked at. Where he that uh, loony. No, my informant tracked it to, to the main commercial block, then lost it, but I figured out of... Figure, <clears throat> but I figured out that it spent the night in the bite alley before going to gas town the next day. Yep, I should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. I have a lead. We have to learn where if that flesh goes. You know, we'll look at there are many shops. Look for where Starling is stocked. Sterling is a fake truck, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. Okay, so hold on. Also, is that a boulder on his head? I don't know. 
Uh, look for where the star is stuck. It's a fake truck, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. Hmm. And if it doesn't, we need we need to check either way. It's the only lead we have. We don't want to wait until the next time. It has to be done. Don't have to think the fair is fair itself. You can do this. Clovisa could be tracking me. You already compromised your safety. What's the point of stopping now? You're not. You got nothing to lose. Oh shit! I have to call my mom. I'm not just the, the phone is right over there. Arrange a taxi to Gaston while you're at it. I got a man for that. Be right back. Uh, phone, telephony. Hello. <laughs> and I know it is. I called you. Oh, well, I think you think I was asleep. Sleep if. <laughs> you got no babies. <laughs> um, actually, my son just pooped. <laughs> Helen, congrats for me. You working today? For you, always. What's hanging? It's a pearl or a peach. A uh, thing. Up at nine, I'm paying for the day. Uh, totally, the time I uh, please remember to put some clothes on. You're the boss, big day pay, or tiny hat if you want. You at your place, and now a second. Or Benny. Yet, there. La 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 la, hold on. Wait, who, who is Rini? Who is she? Tell you later. Oh, I gotta run. But life is being cranky, and that life <laughs> drives you soon. Uh, come on. Lotus resident can <laughs> answer the phone like a normal person. Hey, mom. Howie, what time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? I'm fine, he's checking in. You didn't call... You don't... You, you don't call for weeks and you check in at 5 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, how are you? What work? Do you need money? I have a proper job now, remember? Um, sure, a job. I just worried. I just worry about you. What do you need? I don't need anything. I'm fine. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these damn spiders under the bed. <coughs> Uh, I'm not panicking. Uh, but where are, are they coming from? You should take a look at this for me because maybe later I could work. Busy, hi. But uh, you, what you always are, is fine. Luckily. Could I still have your father around to take care of your old loving mother? Do I have? 
have to call or I guess I should. Mr. Luther, my husband didn't come home last night. We we'll see him. Not sure how to put it. I'm sure it's nothing worse than I imagine. So please, Mr. Luther, put me out of my misery. Oh, now he's moving his mouth. Interesting. Uh, but that might actually put her in danger. Hmm. Then again. How much time? I can't live like this. I need assurances. Do not find anything. Bye. Hang up. There we go. Enjoying your tea there, Rini? Or Rene? No, Rini. Okay, so, start with the truck. Find out. I'll find where it's going. Call me your during and after, I write you my number in a minute. Also, who's a, my client? Elaborate, elaborate. The one who hired me to snoop on the guy I found dead in the bite, her husband. Oh, poor woman. I call it to confirm that he smuggled flesh out of the bite. And, and to where and to who or to whom. Anything you learn, report to me. Alright. You can stay here f for as long as you want. The place is my little secret. This place is my little secret. I go home now and meet you back here <laughs> late tomorrow. Don't Sure, speak to you later. Careful out there. Yep.